G'day everyone, welcome back to Nat's Knackers Yard. I'll be Nat, this will be my Knackers Yard and let's carry on with the CB250 Super Dream um, while we're waiting on the postie for bits like my clutch plates and that sort of thing. I thought I'd crack into the carbs a little bit so we go a little bit deep and quite possibly dirty into the carbs. Right, so that's me set up in my kitchen. It's a bit echoey and you can hear both my dishwasher and my washing machine going, but uh, tough titties as good as I can do. Um, God, I hope the back door is red. Is... Um, yeah, so the mighty book of knowledge, the owner's manual, the idiot's guide, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now it suggests uh, here, before dismantling can be commenced, two instruments must be separated from the mounting bar, etc, etc, etc. Right, now I am an avid follower of manuals because I know a little better but I'm not going to do that I'll tell you for why they're actually in pretty damn good nick I mean it's got some loose dirt on it I think they've been refurbished at some point in the past because it looks like there's some new bits on there but um, fundamentally kind of seems to be doing what it should be doing so I'm not expecting it to be too grotty even to the point where uh, just heard one of the diaphragms do its thing there diaphragms seem pretty good so we we'll just see what we've got shall we now I've got various tooling around to do this I'm not going to tell you what you need because I don't know what I'm going to use just yet but I've got three jars kicking around I've got a visitor <laughs> that's right mate uh, one flathead a pair of pliers just for shits and giggles right there we go can you pull that too please mate keep the dog out I am on her escape route. Um, so yeah, I don't really want to, I don't feel the need to knock this around too much. So we'll see what happens, shall we? Now, I have barely touched these. Um, in fact, let's orientate them as they would be on the bike. So they'll be that way up. So that's left, that's right. This is air side, i.e. passenger side. No, lighting's not great, but it's as good as I can do. I apologise. Um, yeah, so we try and keep left and right as left and right. So, let's get into the bowls. I think you've got a better view than I've got. I won't film absolutely everything. Now, I have had a quick look at these oh, weeks ago when I first took them off, so they're not particularly tight, but that's all I've done is these bowls, and I don't recall them being all that bad. Yeah, like I say, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna show absolutely everything, everything. It's got some damage around the uh, rubber seal there. Said we just get a new replacing, but that said, screws are not too shonky inside. I will, of course, be using the Nat Dictionary throughout this. Shonky is bad, they're not that bad. Um, rubbers survived a bit better on that one, a bit manky, but not too bad. I'm not entirely sure how much that light is helping or hindering but we'll see how we go have a quick go without better without it says confidently 
I'll do it without, although I'm now partially blind. Right, let's fast forward you through undoing bowls. Right, bowls undone. Let's have a look at the left. Grotty but not horrendous. In the world, but it might help a little bit. So, grotty but not horrendous in one. Gasket seal doesn't seem too bad. And t'other. Hmm. Bit varnishy. Smells like varnish. Nothing too bad. Now, unusual for me, I haven't actually ordered uh, a replacement kit or the like yet. That screwdriver's a bit fat, let me find a skinnier one. Right, back in the room, skinnier bladed screwdrivers in hand. And yeah, fuel screws, right, let's see what it's set on to start with. Completely closed. Half, one, one and a half, two, and a bit. So two and a bit on the left. Either completely closed or seized on the right. Nice sharp needle. You can see that. If that's too close for you to focus. No, there we go. Nice sharp needles, still all intact. Yeah, I'm not being a wuss. That is all the way in, oh, and it is grungy too. Quite a sharp point on it. Do the basic sanity check. They are the same. <laughs> um, if that looks like a stupid thing to check, I have had them different before. Right, let's get the floats off. So it should just be a poke. By the poker, I just mean picks. Uh, what I wanted to look at was, let me see if I can get you to focus. Yeah, there or thereabouts. It's just to check that the end still depresses. Yeah, that's fine. Fine on left side. No reason you don't want to come out. <coughs> Excuse me. Try the other way. Top of float. Can't hear anything rattling in it. And again, yeah. No real. Depression around the tip, but they are a bit manky. Well, that one certainly is. The other one seems cleaner. 
and newer. So for some reason one's been changed at some point, the other one hasn't. Which is a little bit odd. But hey, so uh, hope valves. scribble that down so I know what's good and what's bad just looking down the housing looks fine clean hunky and dory uh, got no no obvious cracks in either of the floats or holes or bits missing which is good Right, let's whip the uh, jets out. So right one first. That is a what? I can't tell you what size that is. tell you it's completely blocked which would not have been a good thing so that is what main jets isn't it on those yep. so it's other main jet looks a little bit damaged actually this one one in the world to get going. Moving my way to my beer. Uh, to the main jet. Seventy two it would appear, but that's quite Naked, quite chewy, chewy. Uh, to say the least. Uh, so they are main jets. Let's go into secondary jets now. That's death defyingly loose. check if the main jet on the left was clear. Yep, that's clear. Right is blocked. So 105 is the slow jet and that is pretty beaten as well. I think we're on new jet territory. Oh, excuse me. I just had me dinner. Taking a bit more convincing. This slot in the screwdriver that I was using. And that's the whole bit coming out there. That's the jet and the holder. Right, let me get a tiny spanner. I'll see if I can get that loose. Right, because I don't have Mystic Dale skills, I've got 6, 7 and 8. That's 7 it is. Oh, this is fiddly.
just a bit gungy. Nothing to write home about. Jet's not blocked. I'm just trying to see what it is. 105. So matching. A little bit manky, but not too bad. Oh, yeah. Rudely interrupted by the good lady. Bless her. I am kind of taking over the house ever so slightly. Right, slow jets. Uh, all the rubber. I oh, know, beg your pardon, that was the ignition jet that I just had out. It's the slow jet that's under the rubber bung. It's the secondary jet that's in those. I do apologise. Uh, let's just get the housing out for the secondary on the other side as well. So we're matching. A little bit rough, but not too bad. No, I expected that to be difficult to get out. <laughs> I suppose it's pinned in by the... Hmm. Okay. Uh... How the hell do I get that out? Is there anything to get out? Six five. Pull the rubber blanket valve from the slow jet housing and unscrew the slow jet. Mm. I cannot see a jet in there. Excuse my head. There's nothing under that. my other screwdriver set to try and get in there. Pull the rubber blanking from the slow jet housing. So, slow jet is covered by a rubber plug. So that's the one in the middle. Main jet. Secondary jet. Unscrew the main jet from the final housing and then unscrew the main nozzle from the same housing. So there is another jet under there, which I think I can see. But what I don't have is a really narrow screwdriver to try and get that out. Bracket yet. I've got one, just don't know where it is. Right, having just spent 20 minutes looking for this kit because it's got um, numerous screwdriver heads on it and they are thin shaft thin shafted oh you fucking beauty we're in and while I was searching for this I had a flashback to Ryan's garage or well, Ryan's garage UK I think you are right aren't you um, who Missed this one too, on about two builds, or carburetor strips, just didn't spot it. <laughs> and it's not surprising I've not come across nestled jets before. God, 
that's the longest thread in the world. I'm not entirely convinced that's ever come out. <laughs> Ooh, gammy, gammy. But not blocked. Okay. I never ever would have guessed that would be there. It's pretty, pretty gammed up. Look at that. Right. In the pot. I'll probably fast forward you through this one. There's no Voyager Discovery on this one. <laughs> Plus, I might hit my camera. Well, that is a real fucker because that has just disintegrated in there. So it's just the head's gone. Um, I'm not convinced there was a lot to start with, but that's just died. Now, what I'm hoping for is that there's enough on the other end that I can grab and try and try and unscrew it that way. But that is a fine, a uh, reasonably fine thread at the top. There's not a lot of it. So we'll see. I'm not panicking yet. Uh, we shall see. I'll just flip that the wrong way around then. Uh, yeah, that was the which one's just broken in there. Nope, I did have it the right way. Right. So that's all the jets out. Well, bar that one. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at the diaphragms before we start digging too far, too close, etc., etc. Yeah. Uh, no, I want to keep it that way, don't I? Which way out was it? Broken ones on that side, so I want to do it like that. Try and keep the orientation about the same. Right. That's fucking irritating. But it will not defeat me. Right, quick slurp and. Dirty or grotty. Not bad at all. Needles are still nice and sharp. No great shakes. rather than jets. Yep, don't look too bad. Let's have a look on the other side. Again, springs don't look too <coughs> too beaten up. Got no gouges. Seems okay, a bit muckier on this side, but still with a decent point on it. It's not blunted off, it's not bent. None of that stuff. Oops. Get that the right 
way up. There's no bumps, bumps, or blemishes anywhere. Nope. And what I also haven't seen is the other end of that broken jet. Now I'm just going to move this under decent light so I can see. All right, I have found where that broken element protrudes. Doing pushing the wrong bit, you bell end. Uh, there you go. Right, so I've got this the wrong way up now. So on the left side, as was. That's tricky with slightly wet hands. Uh, torch. Now through there you might just see that little bit of brass sticking out of the top. You won't see that on the other side. You see a bit of brass sticking out a bit further back, i.e. the brass from the secondary hole, which I don't think comes out. I can't see any lipping on that. Now that's fucking irritating, that one breaking. The only thing I can think of to get in there is the world's smallest screw slash easy out. Don't think I've got one that small. I will have a quick look to see. Well, actually failing that guy that has currently got my cylinder head might be able to get that out. Let me see what I've got. So the simple answer is no, that's as small as I've got. Maybe, but it starts getting too fat too quick, so I can't do it myself. Uh, what I have done is checked with a Needle. What do you want, dog? Come on. <laughs> um, small visitor underneath. Uh, what I have done with the needle is sewing needle. Just push it through, and I get that far, which is fine. And I've done exactly the same on the blocked jet blocked the broken jet. Which is tricky to get to. Oops, I'm doing this off screen aren't I, you fool. Off shot. So I've done the same down the broken one. <laughs> Hole is the same size. It still functions. So, at least for the dry build, I'm going to try and leave it. I think uh, between now and then, I need to pick up the. No, I think the plan at the moment is. If I leave it, I don't think it's life or death, but I'm not happy with it. So therefore, when I go, when I get the call to pick up my um, my cylinders, that's the word I was looking for. God, sorry, it's the end of a long day. Um, I will see if there's anything he thinks he can do to get that out. Maybe he might be able to do it on the spot. I don't know. 
Uh, right, I'm going to leave some of this stuff to soak. Uh, I now have an idea of what I need in purchasing. It smells quite strong of uh, varnish in here, of old um, fuel. Uh, and I'm going to give this a damn good clean through. But I don't think I'm going to strip it completely because unless I have to to get that bowl out. But really, really irritating. But these things happen with old bikes. Right, that'll do me. One stripped down carburetor, one stripped out jet. Muddy front stuff. Cheers all. I'll catch you later on. Ta-da. <laughs>